Singing and playing is something that helps me a lot when I'm creating. I remember one time when I was in a master class learning guitar and the teacher was talking about transcribing a solo. And instead of just learning it on the instrument that you were playing, he actually talked about learning the solo through singing it. And I really liked that concept because I didn't need something to play or something to hit to learn something. I could just sing it and I could then transfer that over to the instrument. So what I want to work with right now is a hi-hat pattern. And one of the ways that I learned to work with counting and especially with fast counting such as the hi-hat pattern because I want to do a 16th note hi-hat pattern is learning a different way of saying one E and a uh, or how you divide the 16th notes because you have one, two, three, four, which are quarter notes, and then you have one E and a, which is a 16th note. So instead of saying one E and a, it's kind of a weird way to say it. It doesn't quite roll off the tongue. So I learned this Indian way of counting called tall. I learned some very basics of it. And a way to say one E and a is taka din di, right? Taka din di, taka din di, taka din di, taka. So what I learned first is to do it really slow. So taka din di, taka din di, taka din di, taka din di, and maybe even just for practice sometimes for yourself, put on a metronome and just do that. Just do nothing but that. It might drive you a bit bonkers, but I think that it could be a positive thing. So. Uh, I want to find a hi-hat that I like, and on pad number two, I got this nice short kind of staccato hi-hat. So before I play that, I just want to sing it. I want to sing the 16th note pattern. Okay, just as I'm singing that, it's a bit overwhelming. It's too much there, so maybe I just do tuck in the D, tuck in the D, tuck in the D. Talk it something like that. I don't know. Let's check it out. Talk it a D. 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 Okay. I thought I was going to work with 16th notes, but just singing it made it different. It changed it around. So I kind of like it. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm in note repeat and your rate is 16th. Right? Just audition it there. And let's do I just want to play around with it for a second. So just do restart. Talking to deep, 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 talking to deep. Cool, I'm coming up with some really nice ideas and it's already starting to take shape. So something I wanna focus on is also that the velocity, the volume of this hi-hat is going up and down. It's just not the same all the time. So just make sure that you like nice light touches and then some harder touches. And yeah, let's just see what happens. So shift, record. Talking to D, talking to D, talking to D. Take off record and listen. Cool, I like it. So now we've got a 16th note pattern going. There's one more thing that I wanna to do to the 16th note pattern. This is one of the things that I love about Machina so much is with the note repeat, just putting in a pattern like that, but then instead of being in 16th notes, I wanna to go to 32nd notes. Now 32nd notes more have like a roll to it, like I don't know if maybe you try and do that at home with your tongue, go like that and it's more of a roll than anything. So there's a rah, right? So if I hit restart. Rah, 
Oh, maybe in maybe in the I don't know is what is that? That's like the seventh bar. I think that'd be cool. So I want to hit shift record again. Okay, super subtle in there, not really doing too much. Cool, I like it. So, got something happening here. What I want to explore further in the next section is utilizing bass lines in techno and taking these ideas that we've sung and sing the bass line and have a nice kind of counterbalance to the whole thing. So stay tuned.